Another useful place to look for articles is Google Scholar and a lot of articles are posted there. Sometimes articles that never even make it into the library database. So how do we get there? I'm in Google right now so I'm going to type in Google Scholar. Okay great I don't even have to type it. There we are and include patents. I don't I'm not looking for patents and I'll type in synchronous. Oh, I just have to ask. There we go. Lovely. And I click there. And there's a whole bunch of articles 231,000. I don't think I need them all. It only took 0 0.03 seconds. That's fast. All right. So I can pick a custom range in terms of the dates that I want. I'm not going to do that right now. So if I do want to refine it, and usually the relevant articles are up top. Sometimes the PDF is available and sometimes it's not. So this model for synchronous learning looks pretty useful for me. So I'm going to click on that and it actually gets me right to the article and I can take a look at it. Now if I want to look it up, I just highlight the title here. I copy it to the UIT database, um, the area where I'm looking for journals and I make sure that I copy down the volume number and the issue number and know the year there so I copy all, all that information down and I note that it's Chen and so I can search that article up and get it for free here I can't get it for, for free but if I go into the university library database I can so that's how you search Google Scholar for articles you simply type in the, the keywords and let it rip and see what come what you come up with and look at the first you know three four pages and I think you'll find information that's useful for you sometimes it's redundant with the library database and sometimes it's completely new especially if your topic is unique or something that's right on the edge and articles haven't been written on it yet